Uh, my name's Helen Holyoke Ward and at the present time I work for Basildon Mediation. I actually came to Ultraversity um, from when I was working as a learning mentor in um, a local school. So a little bit before that I was actually uh, at full-time face-to-face university but had to leave so ended up in school working. I did want to continue my studies, it was very important to me to be able to do that. And one day a, a colleague dropped a leaflet in my lap about Ultraversity and Ultralab. And as I read it, I thought, this is great. This is, this is really for me. Um, I'll apply. I think it was the very early stages. And I thought, wonderful. Um, I didn't know at the time that technology was involved. Um, and when I found out that it was, it was a little worrying, I have to say. So technology was a bit scary. Uh, anyway, uh, the course began. I actually changed my job and I thought, how can I actually balance that with Ultraversity? Because at the time it was really quite focused on education. Um, and then I learned that we were actually going to be doing some work in school, uh, training youngsters to be peer mediators. And I thought, OK, well, let's, that fits loosely. Let's see if we can we can work with this. My colleagues didn't actually think it was a real degree. Um, re you don't get real degrees online and I have to say I thought that I was very much of that mind myself but I thought well okay let, let, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens and I was really open to the challenge of wanting to be able to use technology more than I had been doing. So for me that was I was really, I was there, I was in the moment and I really, really wanted to do it and it fitted in with my lifestyle of having to go to work and wanting to study at the same time and I wanted it to be meaningful to me which I, I felt quite sure that this would be. I think that um, having experience of Anglia University and face-to-face, -face, a face-to-face -face course um, was very useful to me, but Ultraversity has been even more useful to me because I can apply my learning. Um, and I, it was very important for me that it was attached to a known university, very extremely important because we all go online and we have a look about, oh, you can buy a degree tomorrow sort of thing. Um, but I wanted to feel that I'd achieved and I did feel that I'd achieved, and I'd achieved it with the name of the university. I think it, it's very much helped me in the way that I work because I do reflect on things that happen. I still keep my online journal because I'm able now to look back and think, well, we did this, this actually didn't quite work. How can we go back and look at that again? So if the same thing happens again, we can make things work. So for me, that is very important. Um, I'm continuing training in different areas of mediation at the moment, which very much focuses on reflection and looking at what we do and how we facilitate mediation. So it's been so useful to me. It affects everything that I do now. It's caused major, major changes in this organisation because we were, it, we were employing an outside trainer to train our peer mediators and I had a look at this and I think to myself actually I'm a qualified trainer anyway why are we paying somebody from outside of our organisation bearing in mind that we are a charity so we looked at the content of the training decided where we wanted to make changes and then this year we've taken on the training ourselves and I love every minute of it I can't say I didn't get any support I can say I didn't get an awful lot of support because I think it was a lack of understanding about what the degree was hoping to achieve. But there wasn't a lot of understanding about actually what I was trying to do because I was very interested in um, personal development and, and exploring where could this degree take me and my degree had to be relevant to actually what I was doing. I've heard so much from youngsters that have come away from university that aren't using their degree and that's how I felt previously about the degree that I was doing. I really wanted to be able to use it and I have done. When it came to my final exhibition 
I got loads of support because it was actually promoting peer mediation in Essex schools. Um, so my line manager was along with me, working with me, helping me um, with the children and assisting. So the support came came there for me, which was was much appreciated, I have to say. I found the experience of um, the community initially was quite difficult for me because I felt very much on my own because my work wasn't entirely based in school. Um, I was very much supported by um, my facilitator and that was extremely useful to me and all my questions were always answered as quickly as they could be. When I, f I found that the community came into its own in the final year um, because we were at that time a small community we were all in different workplace settings, but that didn't matter. I think it was the fact that we had the commonality of being in the final year, and we sort of seemed to bounce very much off each other, ideas and, and information, and it was fantastic. What I didn't find quite so useful for me was um, being in the first, I think it was the first cohort. There seemed to be an awful lot of people um, and quite often I felt intimidated by that. But in the end I thought, well, what the hell, you know, we're all going to the same place, we're all doing the same thing, let's look at it in a logical way. This is a personalised degree. This degree is for me. In actual fact, what other people were doing was for them. This bit was for me. If we found something that was common between us, yes, that's useful, but in the end it's my research degree and, and it was my work that counted towards it and how we put everybody else's information together and used it. The commitment I made was total because it was because of the importance of the degree to me and I was extremely fortunate in, in that my family were very much behind my studies so fortunately or unfortunately family came very much a second place during that period of time. They were understanding, they knew what I was hoping to achieve by that and we fitted in and worked very well together. Um, the amount of time that I studied, I should say, was 36 hours a day, every day. Um, and I was very fortunate in the fact that Basildon Mediation was in its very early stages of development and I could spend some time at work using the internet. Um, and w working in the community at work but I also spent every every weekend and slotted in the chores when they needed to be done. Well I actually have four children but three of them are grown up and living away from home so I had to fit in visiting them in Norfolk but I also have um, at the time she was 12 at home so we had to fit in her needs as well but we did that um, and I think it was the fact that both my daughter and myself were learning at the same time that was actually very useful to us because I was looking at her learning and also thinking about how I can help her and what I could do. It just, we just did it. We just worked and we did it. And, and my husband was fantastic. He did the hiding. He doesn't do it now, but he did it then. <laughs> and did shopping if I needed and put up with my tantrums and what have you, which I did have. Well, not tantrums, worries maybe, uh, when I was fretting over getting a piece of work finished. But I found that it was really important to keep up with um, assignments as they came up because if I let them go and left them till the last minute, there was no way. So it, for me, that's why things had to be steady and constant. Since completing um, the degree, which was, I think, final piece of work I actually finished in May, I have missed that time. I've missed that. For me, that was development, and I've really missed it, and I'm desperately searching for other things to do now. So if there was another level... I would definitely be interested to continue at another level because it's just given me so much um, it almost makes me emotional. It was a commitment, it was a wonderful commitment, I enjoyed every minute of it, I can't say any more than that. <laughs>